Back to square one. Damn, that's weird. But I thought the dome was in ruins. So then, where did they put that old geezer? There should be a few standing structures next to the ones that collapsed. Unless they've already started clearing the rubble. That sounds like bad news. It would be. There were secrets in those ruins. I would rather have stayed buried. Especially from the ASC. That's the problem with secrets. All that time spent worrying about someone finding out. It's a burden that turns into a habit that turns into obsession. I know you're just as scared about what's in the dome as what patients might reveal. I just hope the old man's still holding on. He's as stubborn as an unfed ostrich. But I don't know if it'll be enough in the hands of the ASC. Poor patients. He thought he was finally safe in Noctis. Instead, we threw him straight back into Victor's arms. What do you mean? We saved him from that camp. It's just... We must have attracted the attention of Victor's spies when we asked Andolo to keep an eye on him. He was supposed to be just another nobody in Noctis, but our request ended up selling him out. These thugs, more like cavemen with bigger sticks, don't understand respect, science, age, or knowledge. Any problem they can't solve, they'll use torture. What's two plus two? Uh, I don't know. Let's torture the mathematician and find out. Ugly brutes. If they take power in abundance, they'll turn it into a Darwinistic jungle. A whole group of psychopaths wanting to take control of everything through mindless violence. Sounds like this story hits close to home. It's true. I understand what that poor technomancer must be going through. The pain. So, I hope we find him soon. This is where you were initiated. Yeah, but the dome was in better condition. The ASC were here. There was a giant mantis, though. A giant mantis? Don't tell me that was part of the initiation. No. <laughs> the area had decoys dressed as thieves. The monsters were unplanned. Well, I learned a lot from the experience. If it weren't for my master, I would have died down there. It must be strange coming back. All the memories. Ah! 
Patience! Wake up! Patience, come on! Damn it, they almost killed him. Stop! Let me go. I won't tell you it! Zack! Zack! Holy shit, is it really you? What the hell happened to you? I was on the way back to my place. There, there was someone behind me, and, and before I could turn, he was on me. Next thing I knew, I woke up in a cell. Ugh, they tortured me for days. Wanted me to talk, wanted me to tell them everything I knew about you. Where you were, what you were doing, what we found. You figure out what the tablet said? Unfortunately. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to tell them anything, but I, I just finished when they found me. What did you tell them? Uh, at the beginning, I fought, Zack. I did. I fought. Didn't say a damn thing. Then, then Victor came, and the shit he did to me, Zack, you have no idea. I didn't tell him everything. I, I didn't, but but I had to tell him something, or, or I told him what I found in the tablet. Everything. I'm so sorry. I... I Stop. I... It's... it's fine. You did what you could. Everyone's got a breaking point. What did it say? It talked about a giant research base that was able to keep in contact with Earth. They had a beacon, and gave the base's coordinates. I mean, the coordinates weren't up to date anymore, so I had to recalculate them, but... It's in the South Pole, Zack. It's protected by a huge layer of ice. If you can walk, we need to get out of here. I can. Let me... Let me try. Just just let me... Rest a minute. Just, just a minute. All right. Let's untie you and get you out of here. Must find the City of Ice before they do, Zachariah. If Victor finds the beacon, he could use it to gain the people's trust. Furthermore, if he finds the secrets buried there... He's got a head start, but we'll catch him. Aye, aye, Zach. If it's really the City of Ice... What? I'll have to make some mods. It'll be tougher than you think. Also, wear an extra layer or two if you don't want to freeze your nuts off. Big Ice City? Reminds me of... A tangent that'll lead to another tangent? No, I... Yes, that was it. What do you think we'll find in that lost city? You know, besides the beacon. I suspect the settlers brought back plants and animals from Earth. And probably left some in that base. And if just a few survived, we could find an ecosystem unlike any on Mars. Completely sheltered by the ice. Why should we go to this city instead of just overthrowing Victor? What are you planning? I'm looking for a beacon. I want to get in touch with Earth, but not so I can run from the ASC. It's so I can reunite with our ancestors, gain back everything we've lost. With the people of Earth, we can stop the wars over water. We can utilize the technology we lost. We can understand the choices they made. That sounds perfect. Too perfect. I hope what we find doesn't disappoint you. Meet Patience. We just broke him out of one of the ASC's jails. He could use a place to recover. Then he is welcome to recover here. Our healers, Patience, will be honored to tend to your wounds. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. All this reminds me of an old hiding spot I had in the desert. Thank you again, both of you. This is real nice and all, but I don't know about all this. About what? I'm guessing you're gonna want to go to that city, right? Right. Problem is, that city's coordinates, according to what Patience said, is the South Pole. Rover's good, but it ain't that good. Any way to make it that good? I don't know. Gotta think about it. 
I mean, it'd need some sort of ice-breaking blade in the front and insulation around the whole thing. If I know you, I'm sure you'll figure it out. <laughs> I like your faith in me, but... Problem is, I don't have a damn clue how to add all that heavy shit to the rover's frame without slowing it down like fucking crazy. My dad would have known what to do. Not my dad, though. I knew he'd made improvements to his machines, but I don't remember seeing any diagrams. Though they could be somewhere in the shed. I don't know. Maybe Scott could help us? We can ask, I guess. Then head to the shed with him. See what we find. Gonna be damn fucking cold out there, Zack. Maybe we should go borrow some gear from Victor. He's known the site's coordinates a lot longer than we have. I'm sure he's built some cold weather equipment already. I like the way you think, Zack. <laughs>